the Amiral Petra Barbunana class and its successor, the Contra Amiral Eustatsu Sebastian class, are products of Nikolai Ceausescu's ambitious National Navy build-up program. Near the end of their economic life, these corvettes are also outdated for modern naval requirements. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the Amiral Petra Barbunana and Contra Amiral Eustatsu Sebastian classes by analyzing their past, present and future. The Amiral Petra Barbunana and Contra Amiral Eustatsu Sebastian classes are intriguing vessels. Initially classified as frigates, these warships were reclassified as corvettes in 2003. They are the fruits of a bold yet commendable program. However, their combat capability was deemed limited even at the time of their creation. Today they are simply outdated. Their story dates back to the 1970s. Due to its geographical location, the Socialist Republic of Romania did not require naval investments when the First Cold War began. However, the 1968 invasion of Czechoslovakia further worsened the already strained relations between Bucharest and Moscow, and petroleum-related factors altered Romania's view of the Navy. First, the newly opened offshore oil fields had to be protected. Secondly, Romania had to keep the sea lines open to access the oil market. During those years, the Romanian Navy's largest surface combatants were three 580-ton Project 204 class corvettes whose NATO reporting name was Poti. Romania needed more capable warships. The 1973 oil crisis caused oil prices to increase fivefold and Romanian oil revenues followed suit. In the 1970s, Ceausescu had sufficient funds to realize his grandiose plans for establishing a large naval force. The future Romanian Navy would have two battle cruiser, eight frigates, two mine layers, four minesweepers, and two large logistic ships, all designed and built locally. Ceausescu mandated that only Romanian engineers work on this project, which posed a significant challenge for Romania. The country was inexperienced in this field and lacked the necessary expertise and infrastructure for related subsystems such as naval weapons, engines, and electronics. Since this Warsaw Pact member could not purchase them from the West, it ultimately obtained these components from the USSR, but they would be manufactured under license in Romania. Nonetheless, Romania had to settle for semi-obsolete ones since Moscow didn't permit the sale of the latest technology systems. Under these conditions, the construction of the Amiral Petra Barbunana class vessel began in 1979. These surface combatants were initially classified as anti-submarine warfare, shortly ASW frigates, but they were reclassified as corvettes in 2003. NATO designated these ships as the Tetal class. After the Contra Amiral Eustatu Sebastian class emerged, the definition was updated to the Tetal 1 class. The first of its class, Amiral Petro Barbunano, was launched on May 23, 1981 and commissioned on February 4, 1983. The last frigate, Vicha Amiral Eugen Roshka, joined the fleet in 1987. Romania planned to build eight ships, but the series was limited to four in favor of the improved Contra Amiral Eustatu Sebastian class. The second and third vessels, Vicha Amiral Vasile Skodra and Vicha Amiral Vasile Ursano, were decommissioned in 2004 when the Type 22 class frigates were commissioned. The hull of the Tetal 1 class is constructed from steel and has dimensions roughly equivalent to those of the Soviet Project 1159 Dilfen class frigate, whose NATO reporting name is Kony class. However, their forms are quite different. The corvette lacks a bulbous bow and generates substantial waves at the bow when moving at high speeds. The superstructure of the Tetal 1 class is constructed from light alloys. The ship's diesels, located in the front engine room, power the outer shafts, while the engines in the rear drive power the inner ones. Each engine drives a separate shaft. The Romanian engineers likely implemented this design due to the absence of a suitable transmission. The Tetal 1 class lacks a funnel. Exhaust gases are discharged into the water from outlets on the sides. The Corvette is equipped with the F-band MR302 Arubka air surface search radar whose NATO reporting name is Strat Curve. This radar can detect aerial targets with a radar cross-section of 2 square meters at a distance of 110 kilometers and its maximum range extends to 280 kilometers. 
The Tetal One class also features the I-band MR-231 Nayara navigation radar, MG-22 hull-mounted sonar, PK-16 chaff launchers, RW-23 electronic support measures, and high-pole identification, friend or foe system. The Corvette has two 76mm twin-barrel AK-726 guns coupled to the I-band MR-105 2L fire control system, whose NATO reporting name is Owl Screech. The AK-726 has a 5-person crew. Its effective range is about 13,000 and 15,700 meters against air and surface targets respectively. The gun's theoretical rate of fire is 9 rounds per minute. However, after every 40 to 45 round burst, the gun has to cease fire for cooling. The Tetal One class is equipped with two 30mm twin-barrel AK-230 close-in weapon systems that are effective at distances exceeding 4,000 meters. The gun has a theoretical rate of fire of 2,000 rounds per minute and is paired with the IJ-band MR-104 base fire control radar, whose NATO reporting name is Drum Tilt. However, after every 100 rounds of firing, it is necessary to pause to allow the barrels to cool down. The Corvette is armed with two quadruple barrel 14.5mm KPV heavy machine guns, which have a rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute for each barrel and a range of 3000 meters. It also has two 16-tube RBU 2500 launchers that fire the RGV-25 ASW rockets. The RGV-25 features a 21kg warhead and has a range of up to 2.8 km. The Corvette carries 64 rockets. The Tetal One class is equipped with two twin-tube 533mm torpedo tubes capable of launching 5365 passive wake homing torpedoes. These torpedoes have a range of 25 km at 50 knots and feature a 300 kg warhead. The complement of the Amiral Petra Barbenano class is 98 people. The ship has a length of 92.4 meters, a beam of 11.7 meters and a draught of 3 meters. Its fully loaded displacement is 1,463 tons. Four 3,285 horsepower 16R 251FM1 diesel engines enable a top speed of 27 knots. The Corvette has a range of 1,100 nautical miles, in other words, 2,037 kilometers, at an economical speed of 11 knots. By the 1980s, two significant changes led to the discontinuation of the Tetal One building program, despite Romania's initial plan to construct five to eight ships. The Tetal One class lacked the flight deck but the Romanian Navy required increased helicopter capacity to perform more effective ASW operations. Furthermore, the USSR was now willing to sell more advanced weaponry. Thus, Romania decided to proceed with the Contra Amiral Eustatus Sebastian class, whose NATO reporting name is the Tetal II class. Also referred as the Improved Tetal or Modified Tetal, this frigate was reclassified as a Corvette in 2003 retained the same hull and propulsion system as its predecessor, but featured a modified superstructure, a flight deck and more advanced weaponry. The first vessel of its class, Contra Amiral Eustatsu Sebastian, was launched on April 12, 1998 and commissioned on December 30, 1989. This date is significant as it marks her entry into service just days after the overthrow of communist dictator Nikolai Ceausescu, symbolizing a new era. However, political and economic instability during this new period severely affected the program. The second ship, Contra Amiral Horia Machelariu, could join the fleet in 1997 after many delays. Romania launched two additional Tetal II class ships but was unable to complete them. The Tetal II class shares the same length, beam, drought, top speed and range as the Tetal I class. However, its superstructure is more substantial than the earlier ships and the bridge is one deck level higher. It also has a recognizable funnel. The Tetal II class features a 17 meters long and 11 meters wide helipad suitable for operating an IIR 316B. However, Romania could not finalize the program for the naval version of this helicopter despite having produced some flying prototypes. So the Tetal II class is not capable of airborne ASW operations. The Corvette is armed with one 76mm single-barrel AK-176M gun. It has a four-person crew and a rate of fire of 120 rounds per minute. 
Its effective ranges against surface and aerial targets are 15,000 and 7,000 meters respectively. The Tetal II class has two AK-630 and two AK-306 six-barrel closing weapon systems with a rate of fire of 5,000 rounds per minute and a range of about 5,000 meters. The AK-306 is lighter than the AK-630 and is optimized for surface engagements. All gun systems are coupled with the IJBAN MR-104 base fire control radar. The ship's two RBU-6000 ASW rocket launchers have an effective range and depth of 5,230 and 1,000 meters respectively. The Tetal II class carries 98 rockets. The Corvette is also equipped with two 533mm twin-tube DTA-53-1124 torpedo launchers. The complement of the Contra Amiral A Statue Sebastian is 95 people. Its fully loaded displacement is 1,524 tons. As you may recall from our analysis in Marishesht video, Ceausescu wanted this so-called battle cruiser as a powerful symbol rather than practical needs. Compared to the frigate Marishesht, the Tetal I and Tetal II class corvettes signify a more sensible approach. During the First Cold War, its geographical position, population, economy and technical capabilities rendered a large surface fleet unnecessary and prohibitively expensive for the Socialist Republic of Romania. A NATO invasion armada would have needed to defeat the formidable Soviet Black Sea Fleet before reaching Romanian shores. The Romanian Navy could not have stopped such naval power if this scenario occurred. If Moscow had chosen to overthrow Ceausescu, Romania would have faced a threat from its land borders. A large surface fleet would have been ineffective in saving the regime. The Romanian Navy could have inflicted some damage on the Soviet Black Sea Fleet but could not have defeated it regardless. However, NATO submarines, particularly Turkish ones, could have disrupted sea lines and damaged offshore oil fields in the Black Sea in the event of a war. So, building ASW frigates was a practical solution rather than a symbol of ostentation. After the first Cold War, the threat vanished. Romania became a NATO member and has never needed to modernize these ships. The Tetal I and Tetal II classes were no longer ASW frigates. In fact, they were not even ASW corvettes. These ships have become merely offshore patrol vessels with ASW capability, as Romania has not needed more. Alongside other naval ships envisioned by Ceausescu, the Tetal I and Tetal II classes had significant potential to serve as a foundation for establishing a world-class naval industry. However, financial difficulties and changing requirements hindered the progress. Now, the Dutch Diamond Group is responsible for the operations at the Mangalia shipyard where the Tetal I and Tetal II classes were constructed. The Romanian Navy is currently looking to replace these corvettes. Romania initially considered acquiring four new ships based on Diamond Group's Sigma 10514 design. However, it ultimately abandoned this plan in 2017. Two years later, this time the French Naval Group came to the forefront with its Gouven multi-mission corvette. Nevertheless, this plan was also cancelled in 2023. Today, some Romanian sources indicate the potential acquisition of Hisar-class offshore patrol vessels from Turkey. The Amiral Petre Barbunanu and Contra Amiral Eustatsu Sebastian classes have never been the most advanced or deadliest corvettes in the world or even in the Black Sea and Romania has never needed such warships anyway. They have always been practical surface combatants and their unique designs gave them a certain charm. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.